viewers welcome to this video lecture series on c programming in this session i shall be discussing a program a c program to swap two numbers now this swapping of two numbers is done using a third variable or we call it as a temporary variable so before explaining the logic let me just execute the program and show you the output so this program is asking me to enter the value of x so i'll enter the value for x variable as 10 then it is asking to enter the value for y so we'll enter 20 now the numbers has to get exchanged so after exchange or after the swapping x has become 20 and y equal to 10 so let me explain the logic now look at the first statement here we have declared two variables here x and y so this is the first statement x and y are of integer data type we are asking the user to enter the value for x printf enter the value for x that is how you will get this line here in the out output whatever you are writing here in the printf enter the value of x this line is now appearing here okay and to enter the value to make the user enter the value you are using the scanf statement so this scanf is used to enter the value of x next you want to enter the value of y okay the enter the value of y so the user will enter the value of y then here these three statements are actually the main logic for the program i will show you with the memory locations x and y are the two variables that are declared here of integer data type so the user is asked here to enter the value of x so the user has entered 10 okay and the user has entered the value of y as 20 now your program is you are writing a program to exchange these numbers so that means initially you are telling x stores 10 y stores 20 but after the swapping x should store 20 and y should store 10 so you have to exchange this in order to exchange these two numbers what logic you are using you are making use of a third variable and third variable we are giving the name as temp here it is not that you have to give the name as temp only you can give z a b any name why we are declaring this temp variable also of integer data type what is the first statement in the logic x is assigned to temp so what whatever is 10 here in this variable you are assigning it to which one now the new variable the temp variable so x is 10 so 10 gets assigned 10 gets assigned to temp this is from the first statement this one int temp equal to x so now what will happen here let me show in the memory locations this 10 will be brought into the temp variable once you are making this 10 to move to the temp, temp variable then definitely x is not storing any value now okay x becomes completely vacant the 10 has come to temp in the next statement what is that y is assigned to x so always you have to make a habit of reading this statement like y is assigned to x you should never read x equal to y this is not an equal operator it is an assignment operator so y is assigned to x what is the value of y y you have given 20 so 20 is assigned to x now what you are doing is you are bringing this 20 into x so from this 20 will now be moved to first step what you had done is x you have brought it into 10 this 20 will be moved now to x so 20 will appear into this and y becomes completely vacant this is about the second line the third line is what temp is assigned to y so in the third line you are writing temp is assigned to y whatever is stored in temp that is assigned to y what is the value for temp it is 10 so 10 is now assigned to y so when 10 is assigned to y then temp will be what blank now so finally what is that you got x is having 20 and y is having 10 but initially what is that you had you had x as 10 and y as 20 but by making use of a temporary variable that means just you are taking the help of the third variable so that you can exchange the values that are stored in these two numbers x and y and the you are printing that exchanged values here in the printf statement so that this is what is the printf after swapping whatever you write here in the printf after swapping x is 20 and y is 10 so this is the logic here to swap two numbers using a temporary variable 
we have one more logic wherein without using a temporary variable also we can exchange the numbers we can swap the numbers so i shall discuss that logic in the next session hope this is useful to you all if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care